Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 32 of our vanilla City Skylines Let's Play. And as promised last episode, today we are going to be working on our rail overhaul. Because of this situation that has managed to develop itself over the course of our building, our rail lines have now become so busy that they are backing up into themselves and trains are despawning, as you can see, uh, which is never good. Uh, and this rail line, no, I've never really played with rail lines in a high, dense, high density city like this. Um, and this needs to be sorted out like big time. This is uh, this is not healthy. So we're going to go ahead and pause the game, uh, and then we are going to go ahead and start deleting all of these rail lines here. Uh, something to my speaks down touch. Now, if you're wondering where I'm getting my inspiration from for this, um, I'm actually kind of taking inspiration and nearly uh, copying the lines that come out of Saint Pancras. Um, or St. Pancras, sorry, I should say not Pancras. Um, St. Pancras Station in London. Uh, obviously, I used to live in London, so I kind of have a knowledge of the networks there and how they work. Um, so, yeah, if you know, I, I always recommend if you're stuck for inspiration, City Skylines, or you're not quite sure how something works, such as a rail interchange like this, where a lot of different lines converge on each other, um, then just have a look at Google Maps in a city where you live or a city that you know. Uh, I'm going to delete this as well. Uh, and just trying to take a bit of inspiration from that, and you know, obviously those things work in real life to an extent. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, so let's kick it off. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start start out by drawing um, the lines out of our main train station here. Uh, it looks as though we're going to have to just accept that our pedestrian footpath bridge is going to be. Um, knocked down for the minute, but we will rebuild that uh, at some point. I will definitely remember to do that. Okay, so let's make sure we've got snapping on here. Yeah, okay, so we're going to go in some big straight lines. Uh, probably up to the road here. You notice as well, this road here, that was a bridge, is now a tunnel. Uh, we might make it a bridge again. I've just made it a tunnel for right now, um, just so we can make these changes to the rail line. Uh, but that might change again at some point in the future. Uh, we might not be able to get a bridge over with it with these tracks being so close together. Uh, so we'll see how that works. Okay, so I'm now just going to knock this line back a bit as well. I'm probably going to take a few more lines down here too. Uh, I might make those the industrial lines. So I'm just going to bring this guy out to here, I think is what we're going to do. And then this guy as well. Now do those connect? Yes they do, but I don't like the angle on that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring this out like that. And then connect it up. It's a little bit bulgy, isn't it? I wonder if we can get that to be any smoother. I suppose that'll do for now. Let's knock some of these trees out of the way with. Okay, so right now we have a line serving this one here. I just want to also, we're going to have to delete these. And we will add our park fence back in just to detail this area where the the line does come into the park. So I'm going to knock that back a little. And we'll bring that out there. Okay. Because this also looks better as well, just having the straight lines coming out of the city. I'll probably build some things along here as well. Uh, I imagine at some point. Uh, okay. So I now want to do the same with this, although I want this line. Uh, to remain as a bridge as it comes behind our houses here. And it is going to demolish a few buildings, but these guys have got the space to rebuild. There's no major issue. Okay, and then we'll bring them up to the edge. Now, can I get a line under this? Have I built this too small? Yeah, okay, so we're going to have to rebuild that. Um, let's bring it back to here, and then we'll just have a little elevation step here, and 
then up to about there. That should be good. We need to do something with this space here as well. Although we won't be doing that today. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up to about there. And then I want to bring this out. Okay, that does look marginally better. Now what I want to do here, so rather than just having this go straight across, uh, I'm going to have this actually come down a level. Um, probably to about here. And we're going to bring this down to ground level. Now that is way too steep, so we're going to just reevaluate that position. I'm just actually better to have it on this side. It probably is. Okay, so let's have that about there. That should split off relatively nicely. And we're going to bring it down. And just a few elevation steps like this. That isn't too steep, is it? Now we're good there. And then we're going to bring it in like that. Okay, I'm not overly happy with the way that that joins up. Uh, let's maybe see if we can. Bring that in a little smoother. That looks a little bit better. Okay. So now we need to figure out a way to get this line connected up here. Now this line is purely um, for passengers. Now off camera on a stream, by the way as well, we are now streaming on Mixer instead of Twitch. So links are in the description. Um, over on Mixer, uh, we've actually upgraded this. So if we go underground with our rail lines here. Um, see, this was the old path, which is ridiculous. It takes this horrible underground shape, which we don't like. Um, so we've built this little hillside railway. And this still needs detailing. But the trains now come up the hill and alongside the mountain here, which looks really cool seeing the trains pass through the mountains. Uh, and it takes a little route through here and then bends back into the train station here. Uh, and then the old route is underground here. But um, yeah, that's gone now. So we did that on stream. So if you're interested in seeing some little detail and stuff like that. Uh, so there's no industrial uh, lines over here. This is all um, for residential. There's no like industry uh, depot freight lines, I suppose is the word I'm looking for. Uh, so we need to figure out a way to bring this guy into the line. I think we're going to knock him back um, just a touch here. Uh, and then we'll come out just a bit more. And then we'll bend it around uh, up to here. And we're going to start bringing this guy up. Just like that. So that'll connect him to the main line. However, we do want a train line that connects these stations around here um, up to the main station in uh, the transport hub down here. So we're going to have to factor that in too. Uh, I imagine that that is going to be... a bridge. Let's go back to a straight line here. And then we should be able to just bend this around so that splits off nicely. You also want to just double check that when you're doing uh, your train lines that trains actually can connect 
See, if you do something too harsh, um, not like that, because that actually worked. Uh, but you'll see that like, the actual rail lane, the actual railways themselves won't be linked, and that means that trains won't be able to go over them. Okay. So let's have a little reevaluation here. Now, this line here is solely um, industrial. Uh, and this links over to our cargo hub, which actually takes an underground tunnel right beneath the city over here. So really, so this line here is only going to be having uh, industrial trains on it, um, as is this one here. So really, I don't want those guys to be interfering with the passenger lines. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do something about that. Uh, we're going to have these guys meet up. I can bring this guy over here. So these two lines right here are purely industrial. Right now they are not connected to the the outside line. Um, so they do need to be connected there, otherwise they won't be able to export their goods. How about this line down here? So this connects to a passenger train. Right, I think we're going to delete this bit. And then we're just going to have this. I'm going to need snapping off for this. There, that should connect up nicely. Although that is too steep. a little bit better so this line also serves an industrial port down here as well now really ideally I'd like to have two lines running between these two freight depots although whether or not we have the infrastructure to move these away with the way that this area has been set up I'm not too sure we'll have a look at that after we've finished um, up the main interchange over here as well Okay, I'm just going to have a little refer back to my Google map here and make sure that we're following this as best we can. Okay. So, uh, let's carry on by bending this line around. Now, I think what I want to do is to have this line go underground and limp back up with the main line over there because again as this is solely freight they do need an outside connection okay let's see what happens if we can we just intersect here and go straight through we can although this then brings it into our park area so I'm not sure I want to do that. I think I'm just going to send the freight underground for now. Let's make sure that we don't destroy anything here. I'm going to bring that up and over in this direction. And up here. And then bring them above ground up here as well, near the town centre. But what, this will be a town centre eventually. Okay, so already that's looking so much neater. I'm really happy with that. Um, I wonder if we can also... Can we have any more lines coming out of here without it breaking, I wonder. Because our airport is going to be sat here as well, and ideally I'd like the airport to have a train connection too. So we want to plan for that. Uh, I'm not sure having this one here is going to be such a good idea. 
I think we'll make the airport line um, a separate dedicated line, maybe uh, through here. Just thinking here, give me a second, guys. That's the best way to do this. This guy also needs a connection into this line as well. So maybe we can actually build that over here. Um, We get a bit of a, a separate line running along here. And then we'll see if we can bend this in. And that should retain its connection. Yeah, it does. And then we'll connect that a little further down here. There we go. Okay. So I think now, I wonder if we can... Come ahead and we'll split that off in another track as well, so it does have a separate link. So really this is looking so much more smoothly. Now you've got all these nice big curves for the trains to take. Basically the trick with trains is, is when you come to a junction like this, so where two tracks need to join, there's a little tip for you. Uh, you want to make sure that the gap between this junction and the one before it or the one after it is long enough to contain a whole train So you see there's like eight carriages in the train If this piece of track here isn't long enough to hold that you're going to get trains backing up and that is when you have bad news Like we've been having recently uh, I think we're gonna knock this back uh, just for now, um, and we'll draw it up just here. And then I will probably add in another freight station there just for this industrial park, because otherwise their only methods of export is road. Uh, and then they're going to start clogging up this junction around here if there's a load of industrial traffic heading out of this uh, wooded area. So we'll have a look at that. Uh, let's delete these trees along here. And I want this place to feel uh, quite urban. Uh, in the sense that, you know, it is a city centre. Okay. Let's just evaluate. Let's take a minute to evaluate here. So leaving the station, if you want to head in this direction, then you have two methods of doing so. Uh, this track will head in both directions and it also gives us uh, two platforms to drop people off. If you want to go over from the stations in this side of town, uh, over in the beginning of the map, uh, at the minute you only have one way of doing that, which is by taking this road here. And then this line, if, they, if these guys want to get over to that side of the map or out of the map that way, then they also have a way of doing that through here. And then vice versa for these guys, they can either head out that way if they want to. Okay, so there is a connection we're missing. If these guys want to get out of the city over there, or get to one of these train stations in the park, or over by the stadium, then they currently don't have a means of doing that. So that is something we need to fix. Um, I'm thinking... So this line is connected to that rail there. So I'm going to go ahead and try something here. If we can. We don't have the room to do it this side, do we? I'm using roads. What am I doing? Okay, we can do it here, actually. OK, 
Okay, that does work, but I don't like that um, incline. Okay, let's curve this up a little bit. Now let's bring them into here. Okay. Well, then again, they do have a connection, don't they? I wonder if that junction will help um, with the traffic or not. I mean, this one is really close to the other now, so that was a waste of time. There's no need to do that. Uh, not unless we want to make a separate line uh, that loops down here somewhere. There's a train station for these guys. Although they can easily get across to that one, which is currently having garbage issues. Okay. I think I'm just going to link this guy up uh, to here. And then that gives people from the other side of town a different platform to go to. Okay, so we're looking a lot smoother now. So you've got this little kind of triangle pattern going on. If you imagine a triangle with kind of curved sides that dip inwards, that's what we're working with here. I suppose we're just going to see how this goes. This junction here might be an issue. Um, we'll have to see. Okay, let's let time pass. And we'll speed up to three on these trains. Let's just make sure that all of our train lines are intact. We'll give them a minute to readjust themselves here. They should pop back into the... So I wonder if it's actually worth deleting all our train lines and uh, reporting them in. We'll give them a minute to simulate themselves here. And see what they do. Okay, I think we're actually going to go ahead and delete our train lines. Uh, let's pause the city here for a minute because there are a lot of people using these. Uh, okay, so from the station, uh, we are going to create a new line here. And then this one is going to head out of town. And then it's going to stop here at this train station. And I wonder if there's a way... We do have office buildings down here, so maybe we should be adding a train station in it somewhere. Um, maybe here along the main road. Let's delete that power line. So that will work with that. Okay. So that guy can stop there. And we're probably going to rework this line in a moment anyway. Uh, but for right now. Yeah, okay, I want this line. Uh, can I drag it here? Okay, so from here. I'm going to add a stop there. There. And then he's going to mirror his stops on the way back. Okay, so the other line that we want to do um, is following these two middle tracks. So from one of these, we're going to go ahead and then come down here, add in a stop, and over here, here, and then you can stop on the adjacent platform on the way back. 
and this should allow other people to stop there as well. Now the question is, do I want to create a line that serves, that doesn't stop at this station here and just goes straight over to here? Uh, I think I do. So we're going to have this line. I'll stop here. Here. And then rather than heading back into the station, uh, this guy is going to head out this way. And then this way. And then he's not going to stop at this station on the way back. He's just going to come straight back through. And then finish up where he started. Now that was the third train line. So I'm going to differentiate his collar. We'll have a nice bright green train. That goes through. Okay, now for this side of the city. So this is connected up via these two end platforms here. So he's going to stop here in the Central Park. Then he's going to carry on into town. And then he's going to mirror his stop on the way back. Now when we build our airport, uh, I'm going to have this track will do a loop uh, around this side and pick up some more people. Uh, before we join the park here, but since this infrastructure isn't built yet, I'm not going to do that today. We'll do that when we come around to doing the airport, uh, which we're not too far away from doing now. Uh, and then we'll probably use this line for that line as well, rather than taking them down the same one. Okay. So we'll differentiate this colour as well. Uh, this guy can be red. Have a nice red train running through here. Uh, and then I also want this guy. So we're going to create a new line here. Uh, and then he's going to come and stop at the central park. Uh, and then from there he's going to come down this line. And then he's going to stop here. Now I'm not going to take him any further down those lines. We're going to come and stop here. I'm not too sure if these train lines are going to work, where they're doubling up on each other. Uh, we'll see. And we'll make that new train line uh, a nice fluorescent green kind of colour, a teal. Okay, let's fast forward. Let's let time run a little bit here. I'm going to have a drink. I've been talking quite a lot. Okay, so we have this train that has stopped. And here's an external line train. Let's just get a little bit of a bird's eye overview here of how things are flowing. Okay, we do have an industrial train here. And that is because the industrial lines are still linked up to the main line over here, aren't they? And these guys are now stopping as well because of the um because of the intersection train lines are a lot busier so these guys are feeling the backup of that we'll change that in a moment okay so now we have cleared the congestion out of this junction over here or have we okay so the red line is causing issues here and that's this one over here
Let's just have one train on all of these lines. Okay. I think one of the issues here is that they're passing through the station and the station is causing the backup. So we need another line uh, to bring these guys out. So let's see if we can afford that. So we'll have this guy run through the park. And then this guy is gonna link up here. Okay, now the teal line. I'm gonna delete those two stops on the teal line. So now those trains won't pass through the station. No, so also, which train is this? Okay, so that's um, that's the intercity train. I think it's intercity or kind of international train, if you think, like leaves the map. And he is now no longer passing through the station. He is. And this guy is just on his way. Okay. Need to delete some of these trees around here. We're gonna have to re re detail this place here with the trees next to the tracks. I do like the way it flows over the path, and that's pretty cool. Okay, so that seems to have fixed the backup problem. Now that we have that bypass track that loops around the side of the station. We are good to go. Let's just leave it running for a minute here. We'll see. So, if you guys don't like this kind of episode, so this is a really kind of slow buildy episode, but uh, hopefully you guys can um, appreciate what we're trying to do just by making our trains more efficient. Yeah. So, see these industrial trains are still causing us an issue. So we need to separate them. Uh, from from the main line and I think we can do that with relative ease I wonder what will happen to the industrial trains if we link them up to the main line just a little bit further down the network Let's just leave that in temporary now. I know that is horrendous. That is, We're not going to leave it like that. I just want to see if the cargo trains are going to take that route. Uh, leave come in this direction. We just need to wait for one to come along. Is this one? Yeah, okay, here's one. So he's coming up this way. Because if he doesn't, then we're going to have to make an entirely separate line for the cargo. Oh, he does as well. Okay, where is this guy headed? Okay, so he's also an external train. And he's taking a totally weird random route. I need to link this guy with power because I'm going to delete these power lines. Um, okay, let's delete that. And then we'll make that a little bit smoother. That seems to have taken uh, the traffic 
onto a different road. Um, let's split it off around here and then we'll bend this down and then this guy can link up to the industrial line Okay, let's just make sure that that wasn't a, a random fluke. We want to make sure that the industrial trains are going to take that line every time they can. Okay, they seem to be working. The industrial trains are reading my signals without any mods. And they are now taking this separate line. Uh, which goes underground and underneath the city, keeping the freight off of the track. So the only issue we have now is freight coming in this direction, uh, which we need to fix that. Although it depends how frequent they are. If they're not overly frequent, then I might just leave them. Uh, but right now, we are experiencing fantastic train flow. Everyone is coming and going. This isn't too bad. This train's waiting to come into the platform. Okay. That seems to be working. Surprisingly, I don't know why I sound so surprised. <laughs> Uh, so this layout here, uh, I've pretty much copied the St. Pancreas layout um, in London. Uh, this is how this is functioning. Uh, and we seem to be running quite nicely. So I'm just going to leave it running for a couple more seconds here. Just make sure that we're not getting too excited too early. I'm going to get a screenshot there for our thumbnail. Okay. Uh, so let me double check something. Yeah, we're still good. We're still recording. Alright. So that seems to have fixed it. Uh, we need to do a hell of a lot of detail around here. Uh, I don't like the way. Let's see if we can reconnect our walking paths um, to kick off with. Okay, it's not quite straight, but it'll do for now. Uh, and then these guys also need to be reconnected. There is a little magic space where they just link in. There we go. Well, that's kind of cool. That almost looked like looks like support for the bridge. And already, like, last time this station was having about 900, 800 passengers a week. And we're already getting more now. Which is great. And then they're dispersing throughout the city across metros, monorail buses and trams. Okay. Let's have a look at our industrial stuff down here. Um, make sure these guys are all happy out there. There's nothing backing up too majorly here. We need to fix this. This isn't acceptable. Uh, can this guy be shut off yet? Uh, no, but he can if we link him across like that. And then we can get rid of these power lines along here. Okay, so I'm just going to do a real quick fix here. I'm going to delete this bypass road. Uh, and then we're going to rebuild that in. Uh, in the same direction, that's the one that we want. We'll bring this down here. Can he actually go down a level? Yeah, he can. Okay. Can he get across through here? Uh, maybe we should have this as a tunnel. 
don't really have the terrain. Let's bring this back to the bend. I'm always terrible at building bridges. And then we'll have this guy uh, just sweep down into there. And then we'll change the direction of that. I was actually thinking of adding uh, a toll road onto here uh, for those that wish to use it. I wonder if we can actually uh, do that real quick. Um, it's on the industry, I think, isn't it? No. Uh, tall roads. It's under actual roads, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so it's the one-way tall booth. Uh, we could get it in here. Okay. Uh, let's move this out of the way. Uh, move this a little further down in the campus. And then we'll grab our, our roads again. Can I not? Do we have to drag that manually? Can I not change the direction? That's what we wanted. Okay. So my thought process behind that is, you know, again, that's another quick exit road. If they do want to use it, then they can pay a toll to get through there. And there's a little bit of extra money as well. All right. Okay, so my foot press is here. So this uh, station here, we might also uh, make further lines over here and connect some people via train uh, over in this direction. And over here will be a good place for a train station. Uh, I want to move these around. This is going to be a long episode. Hopefully you guys appreciate that. It's going to take me about a year to upload it though. Okay, so let me adjust my seating position here. Make a sip of the old drink. And it looks as though we're going to have to reform a fair bit of our oil industry. Okay, so we're going to pause here. And then we're going to delete our freight stations. Uh, and some of this stuff as well. So we're going to need to rework this entire area. Uh, probably even delete these as well. And then everything up to here. Okay, so this currently connects to the main line, which is where the trains are coming in. Now I want a road, or sorry, a rail, that comes straight through here. Um, delete that road just for now and add in a small one because I don't want that to go as close to the rail as it is and I want to connect the rail a little bit further down here we really need to tidy this place up as well like this side of the map has been neglected for a while we need to do a lot of stuff over here and just delete this stuff over here go away and delete that too Okay, 
So I think I'm also going to delete this. All I have to do. Okay, so now we have two lines, so they have different ways through. Um, I think I actually want to delete this as well, and I want to just move this guy down the road as much as I can. And then we're just going to readjust this position here, just so it's a little bit smoother. He's not going to be able to get under there, is he? Not quite. Uh, let's bring it out a little further. There we go. I'm not sure we connect that line up. Okay, let's delete these as well. Okay, so with the freight station, how much room do we have here? So bring that in there. Okay, so we can have two either side. I think that's all we're going to have. We're going to have one here. And one here. So, this traffic here, as the freight traffic spills directly out onto the main road, that might become too busy. Um, it really just depends on kind of how much uh, freight is coming and going through these lines. Um, I'm just going to bend that in a little earlier. I'll have that as a straight line. Connecting up. Get out to there. Then on to there. Okay, and then the same again on this side. So we're just helping to separate our industrial lines. Can I not join that there? No, we'll have to rebuild that bridge. Uh, helping to separate our industrial lines away from the commuter and the commercial uh, stations. I'm just going to bring that bridge up like that. Okay. So already that looks a lot smoother. So, you know, passenger trains, if they want to come through this part of town, they don't have to stop at the freight stations. They now have their own dedicated spaces where they can stop. And let's fast forward time. This track should, uh, this line should pop itself back in uh, when it gets a chance. There we go. Yep, that's sorted itself out. And these guys are complaining of no power. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, Stanlow refinery production. It is producing enough barrels without all this stuff here. Although I think now I might actually remove this stuff and do some warehouse detailing, but we'll we'll cover that when we actually get to it. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and detail this place a little bit. Um, so from let's turn our snapping off for of this. I 
wonder if there's a way we can link these together. Uh, in a couple of episodes time, I do want to do a bit of a detail in session um, around uh, this industrial section of the map. Why don't I do it today? I'll probably do some over on stream as well. So don't forget, if you are new to the channel, uh, we have just moved to Mixer. Also, uh, one of the new subscribers to the channel uh, who has been really active, a uh, frustrated Canadian. Shout out to you, my man. Uh, guy's been engaging with the videos, and uh, I've also been watching some of his stuff. He's doing some cool stuff over on his channel with some mods, and he's also on Mixer as well. Uh, I'll leave his uh, channel links in the description. If you guys have a spare half an hour. And, uh, definitely go and check them out. So we're just putting in these um, kind of iron fencing just for little little detail in sections, you know, so you can't just wander onto the train tracks. Let's have that go up to there. Um, and then we'll have one here as well. This just kind of stops people. From wandering around. I do need to connect this path back up. bring this as far around as we can and then I'll drop down uh, a couple of trees here that just rounds off the end of the lane nicely and have a little cut through there all right I think it's probably time to call the episode there, guys, to be honest. It's been a long one. Uh, but we've done a lot of work today. Uh, really happy with the way that this um, new train interchange has turned out. Sorry if it was really boring. If you don't like these kind of videos, then you know you can either just skip over them or do let me know. Because you know, I want to make sure the stuff you guys are watching is actually entertaining. Uh, but yeah, we're going to leave it there, guys. Thanks very much for watching. As I mentioned several times throughout this video, we are now streaming on Mixer. Links are in the description, so go and check them out. And there's also links in the description to my updated schedule, which is the actual schedule now. So go and check that out. Um, I'm going to try to follow that as best I can. I know I've said that before, but, you know, this time I'm serious. Uh, and my um, equipment spreadsheet has also been updated. So if you're interested in knowing what I use to make these videos, uh, then all that information, along with the Frustrated Canadians channel, is down in the description. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, any recommendations, tips, or thoughts on how to improve this? As always, drop them in the comments. And yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.